Okay, so we're going to do some thin slicing then, and I'm going to use this rubric. This is from the Writing Pathways book, um, and we're going to look at the pre-kindergarten and the kindergarten. This is kindergarten writing that we're looking at, and we're going to look at the overall strand of the rubric. For pre-kindergarten, it says that the writer told a story with pictures and some writing because they know that it's not necessarily going to be letters and words. And then for the kindergarten level, it says that the writer told Drew and Rue a whole story, which means they are going to have some words or attempts at words, and they are going to try to have, you know, the whole event. So we're going to look at that first. So when I look through my writings, I'm going to just think, you know, again, I have either that they told a story with pictures and some writing in parentheses, or they told Drew and wrote a whole story. So when I look at each of my pages, I'm going to say, well, this one has some writing, but it looks like letter strings, although there may be some beginning sounds, but I'm not sure unless I talk to the student. And then we have more pictures, so it could be a whole story, but I still think this is going to be in the pre-K pile. Then we look at this one. I see my parents, it looks like. I see the water, I do believe. Um, I'm not sure if I would say it was a whole story, but for now I'm gonna put it over in the kindergarten pile. So I'm gonna put that here. So again, when you're thin slicing, you do wanna start doing it pretty quickly. And right now I'm already looking at it according to one piece of the strand. So I know exactly what I'm going for. Um, so when I look at this one, I can see that it has some letter strings. Um, it looks like they did attempt to spell and did correctly spell dog. There's a dog and maybe a person. <laughs> um, then it looks like there's some people again where it could be some characters from a game. It is very difficult to read um, any of the words. It could be letter strings. Um, there's also the sight word the in there. Um, I would say that this is going to be more on the pre-K level. Here we just have some pictures. So we know that's also going to be on the pre-K level. This one has just a few pictures. That one's quite detailed. But I'm not sure if it's a whole story, especially. And there isn't any um, writing or attempts at writing. This one has the word I and it has the word my. It also has um, two, so it has some sight words there. Um, I believe there are attempts at sentences. It's just very difficult to know what they're saying. And I think there's also some attempts at invented spelling. Um, as far as writing the whole story, I believe that there is a whole story there just looking at the pictures. Now, again, I have not spoken to these students, so I'm just doing this based on what I can tell in their writing. Um, here we have a lot of A pluses, so I'm wondering if this is... Um, I'm not sure where they got this from because I know that's not a grade that, that kindergarten see. Maybe they see it from somewhere else and they have the sight word little. Um, this is completely different picture than the first one. Um, let's see. And then we have something somewhat similar with the scribbles around. Um, I do not believe this is a story. I'm going to put it on the pre-K side. So this is what I would continue to do, just looking to see if they follow, if they go along with the um, either pre-kindergarten or kindergarten column of the rubric by looking to see if they have, you know, if they have some writing. And again, the kindergarten, the writer told Drew and wrote a whole story. And it's okay if their writing is not sentences and it's okay if their writing is not uh, all words spelled correctly. It's just whether or not they actually attempted to do a whole story and have some writing. This one, I'm going to say it has a story mainly because I see that the, um, the people are changing, but they're still the same people but I am not able to read the words. So that's what I would go through and do for the rest of them. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch it over and this time I'm gonna look at another strand of the rubric. On this strand of the rubric, we are looking at spelling. And on this rubric for pre-kindergarten, spelling says the writer could read his pictures and some of his words. The writer tried to make words. In kindergarten, the writer could read her writing. The writer wrote a letter for the sounds she heard. The writer used the word well to help her spell. Okay, so right now, as I said, I haven't spoken to these students. So when I go back and speak to them, I'm going to get a better idea of what they're saying in their writing. But for now, I can say whether or not they, the writer tried to make words. 
and whether or not the writer used the word well to help her spell and if they wrote a letter for the sounds that she heard. Now, we won't know what sounds they heard as far as beginning or middle or end, um, but we will be able to see if they've done either of those things. So again, when I look at my tile and I look at the first set, the writer tried to make words. Well, that definitely happened here. So then we move up to the kindergarten where it says that the writer wrote a letter for the sound she heard and they tried to use the word wall. Well, um, I am going to say that they wrote a letter for sounds they heard because it's, but it could be random strings of letters. So until I talk to this student, I won't know for sure, but for now I'm going to put it on the kindergarten side. I was C in. So they're using the sight words for sure. And they are, you know, it's definitely past the pre-K stage. It's just sight words though. So if I went and then broke down the two kindergarten sides, this would be on the lower side for me. But for now, I'm just going to put it on kindergarten. I, I, some letters to like. I'm not sure what that is, but it certainly could be a word that I'm just not sure what it is yet. Do, foi, do, fo, I. Hmm. So I'm going to say that um, it's kindergarten because they are doing more than just the writer tried to make words. I believe it is on the kindergarten level on that side. My tooth is wiggly. The tooth fairy. So not only can we tell this is a story, but my tooth come out <laughs> or came out. So definitely kindergarten. Here we have amazing pictures. I went to the Hmm, not sure. I believe this was the first page and this was the second and they didn't finish. Definitely on the kindergarten side. If you look at the letters here, it's kind of hard to say, but I do believe they are um, trying to attempt some spelling. So I'm going to put that on this side. So that's so far we don't have any that are on the pre-K side. So let me go ahead here. This is definitely going to go on the pre-K side. Um, they are attempting words, but you can see that they're not using any letter sounds. So they would definitely go on the pre-K side. This one would be on the kindergarten side. This one does have a sight word. Um, so I am going to... But I do believe, I think that's my last one. It is an attempt to make words. I think that's what I'm going to put here. They recognize that the sight word is a word. This one does not have attempts to make words, so it would not even go in the pre-K side. So that's what I would continue to do um, for the rest of them as well.